now that we've created a group, let me show you what it looks like inside it. Over here is the drop down. So if you create more than one group, this would be where all of your community groups would show. Right here is the discussion. This is where the group posts are done. Learning, when I click on learning, this would be if I wanted to add the course in here, I would select our hair tips course and it says all members have access to this course. Yes, it's free. If we had credit card processing connected, we could do a paid course, which means anybody coming into this membership would show as a paid course. This particular one, we're going to do a free. So now we've got our hair club. So when they log in, they'll be able to see the discussions. They'll be able to take the free hair club course. Watch when I click it. it, takes us to our course to take our hair club course. When I select back, it'll take me right back to our hair club learning. Right here is where you would see people and other people would be able to see you and connect with you. Now you as the admin, over here to the right, you can select settings. This is where you can manage the details of the group. So we could change the name, we could change the URL, we could make it public or we could make it a private group. So basically the public is anyone can see the group posts and other members of the group. A private is only members can see the group posts and other members of the group. In this case, let's leave it private. The subscriptions right here, this is free. If we wanted to add a new price and it, we wanted to charge for it, we could charge $20. We could create reoccurring one-time charge, how many trial days, and are we billing it monthly or annually? You can also put this in test mode and test it with your Stripe. Once you have a price set, you can add your price and you can even charge for this group. I'll go ahead and hit save for the free. Over here is the branding. We set up our branding earlier at the very beginning, but if you wanted to change something or any covers or colors, that's where you can change it inside your branding. Another thing I like to do is adding a promotional link. If you have a Facebook page, a YouTube channel, or a website URL, go ahead and add a description and the URL here. So just for fun, let's say see more courses. You'll see I've added a link, see more courses and a link. Let's go ahead and add it and then we'll select save. So now what we've done is we've set up our settings. Now keep in mind when you click on these little three dots, it's going to show your communities, your courses and your affiliates. And then right here, this would be your information, you being the administrator, you can view or edit your profile over here by selecting view or edit. You can add a picture, a cover, your name, all kinds of information about yourself, your location, your time zone, and you can add social media profiles. You can make your phone number or email publicly visible or you can hide it. And that's how you manage your profile. We're back into the portal. You can easily manage that. Let's go ahead and click on communities so we can go back into the community and you'll see we're back into the community. Oh,